Hey, this is Paul, and today I'm gonna to share my results on a two and a half month experiment where I used four different growing medias to root dragon fruit cuttings. Now, I can tell you right off the bat that perlite number four was the least effective. You can see the plants aren't as healthy, and when I pull them, I'll show you why. This is straight pumice, pretty good results it's looking like. I'm interested to see how developed the roots are. This is pure sand. Those one gallon pots are pretty heavy, but they're really healthy looking. And then these ones here are the new mix where I'm using sunshine mix number four mixed with pumice at a ratio about 40% pumice and 60% of the sunshine mix. And so I have six pots there and then I wanted to compare to see how it did against my mix, which is, let's see, per perlite, pumice, biochar, chunky coconut core, peat moss, sand. So let me pull these out of the pots and let's see which type of media resulted in the best root zone. So it looks like a hot mess, but we have some good data to analyze, so check this out. Perlite number four is not the best media. This jade red did a little better, had a root all the way down to the bottom of the pot, but I think it just, you'd have to water perlite more to have it be better. I'm not gonna use that in the future. Pumice did better than perlite, you could see especially on this Trisha hybrid, and even better was pure sand. So sand had really well developed roots. So if you wanna do it cheap, pure sand, not a problem, it worked really well for us. Look at how developed these roots are. Now the best one I think was sunshine mix number four and pumice as you could see. So these Esmeralda cuttings basically filled up the whole one gallon pot in two and a half months rooting. And I think the reason why is because there's mycorrhizal fungi and this product seems to cycle from wet to dry faster. And that's how you're gonna get your cuttings to root faster in my opinion. Here's some more. This one I ripped, so the roots are more advanced in it. So generally all of these ones with the sunshine mix pot, they had really nice developed roots, especially the Trisha hybrid of mine. And then my mix, which is more expensive, it's about the same. So I think peat moss is a good thing. I think the best and easiest, cheapest mix to root your dragon fruit are gonna be using sunshine mix number four and pumice, which we did a video on. So all I did was use 40% that, and then, or excuse me, 60% sunshine mix number four and 40% pumice. And those two ingredients had some great results here, as you can see. Now I do dip all of my cuttings in Vermister's Vitality, which I believe helps as well. So those are my results. I hope you get something out of it. And in the future, I'm gonna to stick to my mix, but I'm actually gonna mainly just use this because it's cheaper to just do that at 60% and pumice at 40. And I think that's how I'm gonna root all my dragons. So there you go. Thanks for your time. Give us a like and a subscribe. Have a great day. Take care.